Good morning, and welcome to the next installment of the Sermon on the Mount series. And today we're looking at Matthew chapter 6, verses 22 through 24. And Jesus says, The light of the body is the eye. And if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. No man can serve two masters, for, he will, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. And in this passage, we see Jesus explaining the importance of focus. And this, this whole section through to the end of the chapter, Jesus is talking about, or he's giving us illustrations actually that relate and reinforce the things he's already taught. He's trying to make sure that it's completely and well understood what it is that he intends and how it is that we are to behave. So Jesus is talking about the things that we set our minds on. Uh, we, we talked about earlier where our heart is, that's where our treasure will be also. And so this is just an expansion of that. And the eye that Jesus is referring to isn't the physical eyes. We don't have a singular eye that sheds beams of light, not in and of itself. Um, that's a great science fiction gag, but it's not, it's not what Jesus was talking about. It's what we are mentally focused on, what our mind's eye is looking at. Where is your mind? Where is your focus at? And Jesus is telling us if our eye be single or if it's singly focused on God, then we're going to be full of light because we're going to be wanting to do the things that God wants us to do. We're going to be looking at what it is that we can do for God. And not only will be full of light, but our lives will be an illumination or an example to others. And that's ultimately how the gospel is spread and how God intends us to share with one another by our life, by our devotion, singly, single-minded focus toward God. Verse 23, he's, he kind of goes into a little bit of a negative slant, but if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Therefore, the light that is in thee, if there be any light at all, is going to be darkness. And how great is that darkness? It's that duplicity, that, that lack of focus toward God, and the focus on the things of this world, world and the things of this earth. And Unfortunately, that also creates a certain amount of example for others to follow. Now, Jesus doesn't just leave us in the dark here, and no pun intended, but he sets it up and he shows us right here in verse 24 hit what the point is that he's trying to get to. And he shows us that a, that a split focus or a sitting on the fence between God and the things of this world is impossible. No man can serve two masters, for he will either hate one or love and love the other, or he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And the word mammon here is referred by many as the love of riches, which is one of the definitions. But I think more accurately, from if you take it in context with everything that Jesus has been talking about, more accurately, it is a reference to an idol master, an I-D-O-L, not I-D-L-E, but an idol master, a false god that you are placing as your master, or 
a God of the heart. You cannot serve the true and living God and the God of your heart. These are this is what Jesus is trying to get to get to us. You cannot be double minded. In another place, Paul the Apostle writes, a double minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Not some of his ways, but everything he does is unstable, and you can't count on that. You can't count on a person like that. Jesus wants us to be singularly focused on the kingdom of God. And as always, we love you. We're praying for you. God loves you. Have a fantastic week in the Lord.